make this life feel like this is the best option you could have. Otherwise, we're in uh, avoidance. I just always want to be somewhere else. There's got to be something better than this. What if you were, instead of trying to figure out how to connect with other people so you could tap into some enlightened, mis enlightened mystery which doesn't really exist? In your world. Um, now, I'm referring to the, um, um, the people who study enlightenment. Mm -hmm. That's what they have said. Um, they said enlightenment, because I don't know. I'm not smart enough to know any of that. <laughs> okay? I know that people in, have all kinds of intellectual masturbation, but I'm not one of them. So, um, the, these people that have studied this their whole life and have had these experiences, they say, you know what enlightenment is? Enlightenment is sensory acuity. Enlight now, they don't say sensory acuity. That's what I'm saying. I'm paraphrasing. I'm distorting. But what they're saying is, um, so let me tell you a story. So there's a master and his pupil. And they are out in the monastery in the garden. And the pupil says, Master, I want to be like you, and I want to know it, and I want to understand it now, because I want to know where you're at so that I can go through things and make things better, and I want to live my life fully, and I want to have it now. I don't want to wait till I'm older. I want to possess this. Please help me understand what enlightenment is. Help me find nirvana. And the teacher said, Take a breath and close your eyes. And the people said, okay. Now, do you hear that river that's flowing yonder? And do you hear how it's running over the rocks and babbling? Yes. This is enlightenment. <coughs> Master, I don't understand. I, that doesn't make any sense to me. I want to know and understand what, may, what invisible current moves the water. What moves it over the rocks? What is it that makes people have peace and happiness? I just need an understanding. I want to understand what's going on. And the master says, Can you feel the wind upon your skin? Yes, yes, I can feel. There's a breeze blowing. This is enlightenment. What do you mean this is enlightenment? This doesn't make any sense at all. Yes, the wind is blowing there. I can hear the water, but this is not enlightenment. I don't have a sense of peace. I don't have all understanding of everything. I don't get it. He said, please, just help me. And the pupil got more and more frustrated, and the master became more and more patient. And the pupil got more rushed thinking about the future, and the master got more centered being in the moment. And he said, can you feel the warm sunshine on your shoulders? And the pupil said, yes, master, yes, I can feel the sunshine. He says, when you can feel the sunshine and have peace, this is enlightenment. The student never got it for a long, long time. What do you think was trying to be conveyed? What was the master trying to help the pupil to understand? Be happy with the present moment. Being at peace right now where, where you are. Yeah, this is it. It's right here. It's right in front of you. You're at where you're supposed to be at. Maybe you stop and relax. Just let go of everything and just be. Context. Peace. <clears throat> but isn't the grass greener on the other side? That's a representation. So you ever hear the uh, old joke about the realtor that asked the people, um, you know, the people ask the realtor, they say, hey, um, you know, how are the people in this new neighborhood? And the realtor says, well, how are the people where you're at now? <laughs> you know, they're real nice. You'll find that here, too. <laughs> because perception is projection. So the master says that enlightenment is not peace all the time. It is not peace. That was my first understanding of enlightenment, which you can imagine someone with anxiety disorder would crave to have peace all the time. But apparently, from what I've read, that is not what enlightenment is. Enlightenment is not peace all the time. Enlightenment is a full awareness and understanding of what's going on in the moment and fully being in the moment instead of thinking that you need to be somewhere else. Instead of being somewhere else um, in your mind all the time instead of being present. Deciding what emotion you want to feel now and causing it or experiencing a different kind of emotion and experience it both as the experiencer and the observer so that you're having the feeling and you're also aware that you're having this feeling so that you don't feel like you're a slave to it, but you give yourself full permission to experience it. 
because if you just never let yourself get mad, you're robbing yourself of a human experience. If your goal is just to be peaceful all the time, you rob yourself of what it means to be human. You might as well just be a robot or a sociopath. So enlightenment, enlightenment is, are you aware of what's going on with the rain? Did you run out of it or did you sit in it for a moment? Did you avoid all the puddles or splash in them? Did you take the opportunity to really get to know every person in here? Do you know everybody's name in this room? Did you care enough to know everybody's name in this room? Or does it matter? Because what matters more is what happened in a past life. I've done about a hundred past life regressions, I stopped doing them. Because I just kept finding over and over that what matters most is what's happening in this life, not what has happened or what might happen, but what's happening now.